Hi everybody, welcome. Today I am sending you a video of the loop. Now the loop was one of our popular classes in the studio because it emphasized this sort of HIT training principles, which is high intensity interval training. And that's a lot coming out of my mouth, but basically what it is is the interval training and it's a big, big, big trend. What I've learned over the years is that actually mid-intensity interval training works much more effectively because you were able to gauge your own intensity much better when it's mid-level versus high level. So what I've done is I've extended the amount of time that you were actually doing the um, actual movement and then given you a little bit of a break but not as short as you would have in another type of hit type of class. So I'm very excited to bring this to you today. I'm teaching an online class tonight, so I am taping this beforehand for all my viewers who are not able to catch that online class. What you'll need for this class, really quickly, you're gonna need some weights, different sizes, and what I've done is what we used to do in the studio was just place a little circuit around for myself so I can move freely from one thing to the other. I have a rebounding apparatus. That's because I really enjoy using the rebounding apparatus. It works so much better for my body because it absorbs a lot of that impact. But then you can also use something like your very own staircase. So if you have a staircase, you're gonna use that to climb stairs. Or you can do high knee lifts in order to get that same kind of intensity. Whatever you decide to do, just know that whatever you have in your house is fine. I also have a skipping rope. And if you have a skipping rope, that's awesome. But if you don't, you can also pretend to skip on the spot. So with that, I hope you enjoy this 20 minutes of the loop. The reason why I taped it also is because it gives you the opportunity to loop once and then turn me back on and loop in the other direction. So doing the opposite direction or the exercises in the opposite direction. So are you ready to get going? I am ready to take you through this. I'm hoping I have enough energy to get you through, but I think I will. All right, guys, let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay, guys, let's get started. Take those arms all the way up to the ceiling. Bending the knees, bring the toes out to let them fall. Open up through the spine and stretch. Swan dive and come forward. Excellent. Bending the knees, stretch those legs. Walk the hands a little forward. Bending those knees again to get that back to get stretch. And the shoulders, the back of the shoulders, we want those to stretch as well. Come back into the center. Open those thighs, sitting all the way back down. Good. Stretching side to side. Good. Taking that body, turning to the side, reach that arm forward. Opening the chest, circle all the way around, watching that 90 degree angle of the knee. Coming all the way back down, relaxing the toes, lifting all the way up through the chest. Circling around, follow your head and arm together so that you can feel that chest and neck getting a stretch as well. Press back through the heels, up through the toes. Good, bending those knees, lifting the body up. Good, stretching back through that leg, feel the calf. Squeeze and reach all the way up. Circle the arm behind you, hold. Shoulders are down, tummy is in, give that quad a good stretch. Coming back into the center, lift. All the way forward, good. Bending the knees, stretch. Turning to the side, watch that 90 degree angle on that left knee, open the chest and follow that arm. Good, bending the knee. I always like to follow the direction of my arm because it provides an extra little pull through that muscle and allows you to open up just that much more. Press the metatarsal into the mat and push back. Good, bending both knees. Lifting the body all the way up. Tummy is in, reaching back, feel that calf getting a little stretch. Squeeze that front leg, coming all the way up. Circle that arm around, quad stretch. Good. Are we ready to get going? Excellent. Get on top. Or standing on the spot, I want to give you two options. Jogging on the floor. Here we go. Pump, pump, pump. So jogging on the floor is one option. Yes? This is great little tempo. If you're doing, because that's too hard on the back, lifting the knee up and down, 
We'll give you the same intensity. Just remember when you're lifting the leg up and down that you're using your belly and not your hip flexor to bring the knee forward and that you're not leaning back. Good. Otherwise, if you have a rebounding apparatus, push down on those legs and pump. I've been told I have 30 more seconds. So 30 seconds up on top, giving it all you got. Shoulders are down the back, tummy is in. Keep reaching, keep popping. We're at that 15 second mark. Coming on down, keep going guys. I feel we're almost there. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, come on down. We've got our little 15 seconds in between that time. Make sure that you're breathing and you're moving still. All right guys, are we ready? Here we go. And jump squat, step back, jump squat, good. When you're doing a jump squat, I'm gonna to try to give you a side profile. You wanna still have the same feeling or body position you would if you were doing a squat. So as you jump forward, you wanna still make sure you have that nice 90 degree angle. You don't wanna collapse your body forward over the thighs. You still wanna stay lifted. Good. Where am I at for time? 30 seconds. Good, 30 seconds in. We're alternating our legs and feet. Shoulders are down the back. Tummy is in. Keep lifting. 15. Guys. Ooh, 15 seconds. Come on guys, let's pump it up. That's it. Shoulders are down the back. Five. Keep feeling that lift through your tummy. Excellent. Get one more in there. Oh, good. Excellent. Keep breathing. We're going to do the walkouts. So we're going to come around. That's it. 15 seconds. And let's go. Scoop and come forward. Walk it out. Give me that little tickle. Come all the way back. And lift. Scoop and come forward. Walk all the way out. Really bring those elbows close to those ribs. Using the abs to help you. Shoulders slide down the back. Give me that tickle. Rolling all the way up. Good. Coming all the way forward. And good. Walking all the way back. Where are we at? 30 seconds, people. Let's keep pushing. Right through. Come all the way up. With the walk up, remember we want to feel that belly button going right beside the spine. 15. Coming all the way up, guys. Tummies in, making sure the hands are under the shoulders. Oh, good, and release it. Excellent. Next thing is jumping jacks. And you do have an option. You can do it on the floor or on your apparatus. Are we ready to go? And let's go. Jumping jacks, always make sure when you're doing a jumping jack, I know this feels a little bit like the 80s gym class, but when you're doing a jumping jack, I wanna make sure that I keep my knees bent and that I'm always landing through my feet. Yes, for me, sometimes this can be a lot on the joints. So I'm gonna shift my body to my rebounding apparatus. Yes? On top of here, I'm gonna push down double time. That's it. And this is now about 20 seconds left. Here we go. Push in and out and in. That's it guys. 15 seconds. Come on. Push out, squeeze. Excellent, my timer. Keeping me in check. Five seconds, let's do some singles. That's it. Push and release. All right, moving on to lunges. We're gonna grab onto some weights. We're gonna do alternate legs. So tummy is in. We're almost there. And let's go. So I'm taking a step back and pulling in. Good. So stepping back and pulling in. Good, stepping back and pulling in. Good, stepping back 
and pulling in. Good, we wanna make sure, I'm gonna turn sideways here, that when you're doing this, that you're actually trying to make sure it's the front leg that is getting you up, not the back leg. 30 seconds. 30 second mark. I'm gonna keep turning. There we go. That's it. So we're coming all the way down and up. We want that front leg to engage to bring that back leg in. Tammy stays in. 15 seconds. Awesome. Take that leg back. Really using your abdomen to keep you nice and square. Five, Five four, three, two, and release. Awesome. All right, putting down those weights, walking it off. Grabbing your skipping rope, if you have it. If there's no skipping rope, remember, you can do that same thing on the floor. Let's go. Now, if you're not the best skipper, it's okay to stop and start. Because I'm gonna do cross-country ski on the rebounding apparatus, I'm using the legs that I would use if I did cross-country ski. That's it. Nice and easy through the body. Shoulders are down. Tummy is in. Where are we at on top? Good. Almost. We're at the 30 second mark. Gonna show you a little bit about what's happening on that rebounding apparatus. So sliding forward and back. That's it. Forward and back. I love this apparatus. After being a dancer for like 40 some odd years, I realized I can have the intensity, but I don't need to feel it in my joints when I'm up here. It's awesome. An investment you may wanna make. Then you can do tabouline. All right, guys, breathe. We're gonna go into shoulder press squat. So I'm gonna grab my weights. Tummy is in, my feet are parallel. Still moving my feet. Ready, sit it down. Push, now turn my wrist, press those triceps. Might as well get those in. Turn the rest and press. So I'm sitting down, push, sitting down, turning my arms. Good, whenever you do anything with the weight in a circuit, remember, it's more important to have the technique than it is to have the speed. In time, the speed will come, but first, get the technique. Technique here, keep the belly button moving towards the spine as you squat down, making sure your shoulders always are above the hips. So we never want to squat that way, because that's all in your back. Sitting down. That's it. We're at 10 seconds. Eight. Five. Five seconds. Get a couple more in there, guys. Good, tummy is in, reaching it. Awesome, and release. Great, moving on to stair climb. We have 15 seconds. Find your staircase. I'm gonna do a couple of options. So with the staircase, I'm gonna be here. Is it ready to go? Climbing it up. I'm going right up and down those stairs. I'm gonna climb up a couple of stairs so you can actually see me on the stairs. Good. I'm only gonna do 30 seconds on one side, and then I'm gonna switch. Good, so when I hear my 30 second mark, I'm gonna let you know what's next. Good. So you don't have a staircase. You can use a modern looking couch if it's solid. Okay, so option two, if you want a little bit more edge, right up on top of my couch. Wouldn't recommend this all the time, but it's really solid. So that's the other option. Awesome. Last one is pushing. I'm gonna switch legs here. Off of the legs on the rebounding apparatus. Five seconds, guys. Awesome. Great. Right up and done. Awesome. All right. We're going on to bicep curls. I'm gonna pull out the greenies here. Shoulders are down the back. Take the legs apart. Starting off. Here we go. Right up, bicep curls. I'm shaking my hips. 
because I still want to keep that energy in the body. I want to make sure again that the elbows are in front of my rib cage. You get more bang for your buck in that lower part of the bicep if you keep the arms forward. Let's open the legs, let's add something. If you're ready to have just a little bit more intensity, squeeze in those plie squats. We wanna dry those arms still up. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Right up, guys. Pushing it down, tummy stays in, keeping those arms going. Excellent. Get right into those legs. I know it feels hard on the way up. 15 seconds. Here we go, keep it up. Here we go. All the way, guys. Five seconds. Couple more. And awesome, let it go. Okay, moving on to burpees or ball burpees. But I will demonstrate the burpee first when I get my cue. All right, let's go. Jumping it up, come down, push, down you go, scoop, and lift. Good. I was saying to my family, whenever I see burpees now, I always think of Jack Black in Jumanji when he's like, come on, get it, get it. And he does like two. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Keep going, straight down, up. Excellent, switching over. I'm gonna grab the ball burpee now. So this is a nice version of the burpee. It also works on your stability and core on the ball. Same feeling, really important to keep the whole body nice and long, 15 seconds, guys. Push all the way up, tummy is in, straight down, push back. Five seconds, guys, come on. Push it, straight back, and done. Awesome. Getting on a chest press next. You can do this on the ball or on the floor. I'm gonna start on the ball, and then I will work my way. Go. All right, I hit my cue. Coming on down. Chest press, turn your wrists fly. Squeeze, turn your wrists down. Chest, fly. Squeeze, down. Chest, fly. Squeeze, down. Chest, fly. Squeeze, down. Again. Fly, squeeze, down. How many more, mama? Squeeze, down. We're at that 30 second count. So I'm gonna give you that second example. I'm gonna come down to the floor, shift that ball out of the way. Same idea here, just on the floor. The ball again provides an unstable surface. So it allows you to work a little bit more on your core stability. When you're on the floor, you feel a little bit more solid and you're maybe able to lift a little heavier Five weight. Seconds. Five seconds, guys. Come on, fly, squeeze, down, and done. All right, guys, staying right here, lengthening those legs. We're gonna do our roll up since we're down here. Shoulders are down the back. Where are we at? And come on up, reaching all the way up and roll all the way back. Good, and lifting all the way up. Excellent, and roll all the way back. Good, again, reach all the way up and roll all the way back. Again, take the arms side. Now the funny thing is, is when you're doing your roll ups and your arms go forward, it feels one way, because you can feel that, that push down through your ribs. When your arms go side, it requires a little bit more of your obliques to wrap around that center and you can really feel it in a different way. So if you have done roll-ups a long time with the arms going in one direction, trick your body and do it from another place. 15 seconds, 15 seconds guys, come on, roll all the way up. Rolling all the way back. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, let's try to get one more in. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Awesome, let's move to the trampoline. If you do not have a trampoline, you can set yourself up on a chair. I'm gonna do the first bit here so you can see. My fingers are facing my bottom. My shoulders are down. How are we doing for time? 
And here we go. Straight down, up, straight down, up. So notice my bottom is trying really hard to stay under my head. I know sometimes it feels better if the legs are away, but then that's only using a half of that arm strength. So we really want to see a change in those arms, especially the back of the arms. You want to keep that bum right underneath the head so you feel the back of your body doing the work more. Keep that belly button in, shoulders are down. 30 seconds. I'm going to transfer myself. If you have a rebounder, this is how you would do it. Grabbing onto the pit poles, shoulders are down the back. Make sure that you're holding your body upright and you're not pressing your shoulders forward or into the bar. Straight up and down. Woo, mama's sweaty. Come straight down and up. Straight down and up. Straight down and up. Good, and make sure you're squeezing the muscle and not snapping. How we doing? Good, how we doing? Five seconds. Come on, push. Right through and done. Awesome. All right, guys, last little bit. We're gonna come on top of your trampoline or standing on the floor and you're gonna jog. Hard as you can, 15 seconds. We're gonna break for 15 seconds. Three rounds. Are we ready? Come on. Pump, pump, pump. 15 seconds, super hard, super hard, super hard. Come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Here we go, here we go. Five seconds, guys. Come on, push, 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 and release. Breathe, breathe. Excellent. Here we go, in five, four, three, come on, push, come on, push. Go, 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 go. Dig into that ground, five seconds, four, three, two, breathe. All right, guys, here we go. We got five, four, three, last round, come on, push. Arms and legs. Hussein Bolt, Andre de Grasse, ain't got nothing on you. Five seconds, guys. Pump, 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 and break. Woo! Awesome work, guys. There's the loop. 20 minutes of getting that heart rate up. Do this as many times as you like. Let me just bring you down a little bit and let's stretch it out before we go. Awesome. Take those legs out, arms all the way up. Good. Your heart rate is still pumping. So let's just lean and stretch, opening up those lungs. That's it. Coming all the way back up. Bring the arms in front. Take it up again. Opening up those lungs. And take it over. Coming all the way back. Woo. and release, coming forward, lengthening the spine, turn it at the toes, shoulders are down, opening up those cheeks, that's it, spreading those inner thighs, drop the shoulder, excellent guys, and switch, I hope you enjoyed the loop, turning towards the right, stretch that leg again one more time, take the arm all the way up and around, good, this time you're going to take the back leg, slide it underneath you. I'm going to sit down on my cheek, keep wrapping around, and I'm going to stretch through my back. Excellent. I'm going to take my top leg, place it on top or in front, then stretch my glutes. Hands go behind me, and I'm going to bring my body forward. At this point, the heart rate should feel like it's coming back to normal, so it's okay for the head to be lower than the heart. But if you're still panting pretty hard, I wouldn't suggest bringing your head forward. You might feel dizzy. Good, coming all the way back up, placing that right foot back down on the floor, stretching back through that metatarsal on the left and stretching the hamstring in the front. Really trying to aim for a nice flat back. Good, bending both knees, walk around into the center, stretch the arms forward, rise on the balls of your feet. And then just press back through those shoulders and that chest, giving out a nice stretch. Good, we really use those arms. Walk the hands back, turning towards the left. Good, and stretching. Awesome, taking the arm all the way up. Circling it around to the back. Bring that right leg underneath you, have a seat. 
Keep the left arm going behind. Take the right arm up. Give yourself a twist. Good. When you're in this position, if the hips feel super tight, take the bottom leg and stretch it out. That'll just give your body an opportunity to drop that sit bone. Excellent. When you come forward, you can cross that leg or bend it back and then come forward. Another really good stretch to do here is instead of keeping the leg just on top, we actually cross both knees. So now you have even more of that outside of the group getting the stretch. It just feels a little bit different. And sometimes you might require something more on one side. Good, excellent. Coming back around, I'm gonna take my left foot, put it on the floor, and stretch back through my right. Press back through the heel, up through the toes, and I'm gonna lengthen. Good, feel that hamstring giving a stretch. Good, bending both knees, coming back into the center, rolling all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae, taking that right arm up towards the ceiling, press it on my back. Lifting the left hand to the back of that elbow. I'm gonna feel that tricep getting a stretch. I'm also gonna try to relax my right shoulder. Good, I'm leaning over just to get a little bit more stretch in that tricep, taking the arm around, giving my body a stretch. And, Taking the arm all the way up on the left, place it behind the hand. Good. Ribs, remember, they stay in your body or else you put the stretch in the wrong place. That's it. Taking it all the way over, tummy stays in and reach to the side. The reason why I'm telling you to draw your belly button in is any time you are sort of manipulating that low back and if you have a sensitive low back, you wanna feel the support. Taking the arm across. Good, stretching the outside of that shoulder. Take the arms both back, drop the shoulders, feel the outside of your feet, pushing your hips forward, opening that chest. Good, and taking your body all the way over, lengthening those legs, releasing the arms, bending the knees, and rolling all the way up. Awesome. I hope you're as sweaty as I am and that you enjoyed that little burst of energy in your day. Remember, there's still time to join those online classes. Please go to tabfitness.ca, press on the April newsletter, and that will take you to the Google Sheets where you can sign up and join the class. If there are more people that want to join the class, then I will create more spaces. So thank you again so much for joining me. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys.